Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you the tier sets for all three specs of Monk. I will need some help with the Brewmaster one because I don't really play Brewmaster, but they are live on the beta server. So if you have beta, you could test these tier sets. You can mess around with them. I got another Monk right here. But today I'm going to go through all three specs, talk about the tier sets very quickly for those who don't have beta or can't test right now. And with that said, jump right into the video. Starting off with Mistweaver, of course. So Mistweaver 2 set is Enveloping Mist and Renewing Mist Healing increased by 10%. Similar, I think that was similar to one that we had in the beginning of Dragonflight, I'm pretty sure. They just removed Essence Font pretty much because Essence Font's no longer a spell for Mistweavers, which is nice. And then the fourth set is Vivify extends the duration of Renewing Mist and Envelop Mist on its primary target. Primary target by two seconds up to four seconds. So I think Envelop Mist lasts six seconds now. Yeah, it's six seconds. So you can extend that hop from six seconds to 10 seconds and then Renewing Mist lasts for 20 seconds. You can extend that from 20 seconds to 24 seconds if you Vivify your target. So I will quickly just show you. So I'm gonna use Envelop Mist right now. My Envelop Mist is right here. I'm going to Vivify, extends it. I'm going to Vivify again. It extends it. Same with Renewing Mist. If I renew Renewing Mist right now, I extend it. Oh, does it extend the Chi Harmony hot? All right, I'm going to test to see if it works with Chi Harmony, just because it would be really interesting if it did. So if I Renewing Mist here and I Vivify, it extends it to 19. I go up again, it goes to 19. All right, let's see if it goes down at like 11. No, five. No, it does not, sadly. All right. I thought there would be some kind of bug there or some kind of like interaction there that made it so Chi Harmony, the eight seconds that, you know, the first eight seconds makes them heal 50% more. I thought that would get extended with this, but no, that does not work, sadly. That's a little unfortunate. Next up is Windwalker, and your two set is Tiger Palm increases damage of your next melee ability by 5%. So if I come over here and I whack this guy with the Tiger Palm, I get a buff called Tiger Strikes. The damage of your next melee ability is increased by 5%. And for the four set, your other melee abilities increase the damage of your next Tiger Palm by 25%, stacking up to six times 15% of Tiger Palm's damage dealt onto nearby enemies reduced beyond five targets. So Tiger Palm is going to be an AoE spell, which is pretty neat. So I'm just going to build up some Chi here. I, can, I just want to see, first of all, I want to test if Blackout Kick does multiple stacks. Let me see if I, let me come over to this and see if I can. So Blackout Kick gives me only one of the buffs. So Tiger's Ferocity, Tiger Palm's damage increase. So if I... Fist of Fury here, I get a second stack, and if I Rising Sun Kick, I get a third stack. And if I Tiger Palm, this should do AoE damage to everyone. You know what you could do is you could build up some damage here, right? And then you could Fist of Fury, Rising Sun Kick, Blackout Kick, try to get a reset. No, you don't. That's so that's unfortunate. That's okay though. I think this is overall a pretty good tier set. I'm not I'm not mad about it. It's just more damage, which is nice. I think there's gotta be a way to get to six stacks without having to press Tiger Palm. I think if you're able to get some resets on your Rising Sun Kick, it's kind of nice. But yeah, overall, that is the Windwalker tier set. Pretty solid, good amount of damage. You get more AOE damage down, which is nice, and a little bit of burst damage. So overall, not mad about it. All right, next up is Brewmaster. I know very little about Brewmaster, so this is gonna be quick, but Blackout Kick and Keg Smash deal 20% additional damage and Shuffle also grants 3% damage reduction. I know that Shuffle is what makes, is the dot they put on you any, anytime you take damage, so I don't know if 3% damage reduction is good. Probably decent for PvE, right? You're not gonna be Brewmastering in PvP, sadly. But, you know, extra damage on Blackout Kick and Keg Smash. Maybe it's easier for aggro now. I have no idea. And then Blackout Kick increases your damage up by 1% for 15 seconds, stacking up to three times, and has a chance to reset the cooldown of Keg Smash and make its next cast cost no energy. That's that's Brewmaster. I'm sure this is great. Maybe, hopefully, there's extra damage, Blackout Kick, some Keg Smashing. I don't know much about Brewmaster, but hopefully there's Brewmasters out there that can help me out there. It'd be interesting. I've always wanted to tank a little bit. I tanked a little bit in Shaolin's, but I've never gone further than like a plus 10. So, but those are all of the monk tier sets overall. I mean, I think the Mistweaver one's a little bit boring, but I mean, more healing is more healing. I'm fine with that. Windwalker one is pretty interesting. I like when there's tier sets or spells that interact with other spells, which is always nice. You know, being able to use certain spells to build up other other spells and finding a way to min max that I think is interesting to me. Maybe not interesting to others, but I think Windwalker has the coolest one. Brewmaster, you do more damage, get a little damage reduction. And then you have more chance on keg smash to get the cooldown reduced and it costs no mana. So, or no mana, no energy. So, those are the monk tier sets. 
love to know what you guys think about it. Hopefully most of you have beta, so you're able to test this as well. If not, that's okay. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.